We will now look at the muscles, the deep muscles of the posterior compartment. We'll be able to see these better if we remove the gastrocnemius and the soleus muscles. The first of the deep muscles of the posterior compartment that we'll consider is the popliteus muscle right over here. The popliteus muscle has an origin on the posterior surface of the proximal tibia and inserts on the lateral femoral condyle. The action of this muscle is to unlock the extended knee by laterally rotating the femur on the fixed tibia at the initiation of flexion. The flexor hallucis longus is on the lateral side of the deep posterior compartment. It has an origin on the fibula and inserts by way of a tendon onto the plantar surface of the distal phalanx of the great toe. As its name implies, the flexor hallucis longus flexes the great toe. The flexor digitorum longus is on the medial side of the deep compartment of the leg. It has an origin on the posterior side of the tibia and inserts by way of four tendons onto the plantar surfaces of the distal phalanges of the four lateral toes. As its name implies, the flexor digitorum longus flexes the four lateral toes. The tibialis posterior is located right over here underneath the tibial nerve and between the flexor hallucis longus over here and the flexor digitorum longus right over here. The tibialis posterior, of which you can only see a part of right over here, has an origin on the interosseous membrane between the fibula and tibia and the adjacent bone of the tibia and the fibula. The tibialis posterior inserts on the navicular bone and the medial cuneiform bone. The action of the tibialis posterior is inversion and plantar flexion. 